everyone, my name is Sean, and recently I was trying to look for a deck that can make use and abuse the effect of Blot Dragon. Blot Dragon's effect reads as follows, it must be special summoned from your hand or graveyard by banishing three earth monsters from your hand or graveyard. Rock monsters you control cannot be destroyed except by battle, and then if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can add up to three rock monsters from your deck to your hand whose total levels equal eight. Blot Dragon's effect is very very powerful, and Blot Dragon comes into the format as one of the top uh, met with one of the best meta decks in the game after Link Evolution, and that was called An Emancipator. An Emancipator has been, uh, recently been nerfed a bit, or last year was nerfed a bit, because it was such an oppressive combo deck, but um, with that they banned Blot Dragon along with some other cards. But Blot Dragon is still legal in Link Evolution, and I thought, why not have a go at trying to abuse its effect and see what decks we can really use to utilize it. Obviously, we don't have Animancipators, but we do have things like Megaliths are in the game, we do have Gogogos in the game, and of course, there are lots of other rock monsters, but the deck we're going to be looking at here today are Gem Knights, a, a, a send-up to uh, uh, Jaden Yuki's um, Elemental Hero archetype mixed with Crystal Beast uh, monsters as well. So it is a really, really cool archetype, but never has been that strong. What is unique about the Gem Knight archetype is that they have an FTK, via the effect of Lady Lapis Lazuli. Uh, her effect reads as follows. Once per turn, you can send one Gem Knight monster from your main deck or extra deck to the graveyard. And if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each special summon monster on the field. I'm going to show you what this card is like in action and how you can turn it into an FTK. So we're going to go into this video here. I've got six monsters on the field, one in my extra zone and uh, three, uh, five in the main monster zone that have all been special summoned. And on my first turn, I can burn my opponent for 3,000. Now, I feel like Konami deliberately tried to make this not abusable by putting in her text that she can only be summoned once per turn. But there are ways to circumvent this. If I go over to like 1 minute 48 here, uh, we have the card in this deck called uh, uh, Gem Knight Master Diamond, who can copy the effect of one Gem Knight card in the graveyard by banishing it. So we copy Lady Lapalis' effect. And then we're going to use her effect again as part of Master Diamond's effect to burn your opponent one more time. Now, Master Diamond isn't limited to being summoned once per turn, but it is only at one in the game. But thanks to a card like Nightmare Unicorn, we can send it back to the extra deck and then summon it one more time to reuse the effect. So I'm going to fast forward here to about 3 minutes 22, about here, where we've got Master Diamond in the graveyard. He's just copied Lady Lapis' effect again. And then we're going to burn our opponent one more time, send one more card from the deck to the graveyard, and that is how the FTK works. By uh, using these three monsters, Lady Lapalus and Master Diamond twice, you can have an FTK in this game. Then I realized one day, I was practicing against the AI, that uh, all of a sudden Lady Lapalus was doing more than 3,000 damage. I was like, what's going on over here? How come I'm doing more damage than I normally do? And I realized that Lady Lapalus' effect doesn't just count your monsters, it counts monsters on the opponent's field again. And so there was a card I thought about trying to take advantage of that with. And I'm going to show you a video here now, I'm going to forward about 10 minutes. And that card is the card Black Garden. Black Garden is a token generating card, but it doesn't give you tokens, it gives your opponent the tokens. So I'm going to activate Unexpected Die here, summon a normal monster from our deck to the field. And any time you normal summon or special summon a monster to your field, you're going to give your opponent a token. The downside of this, quote unquote, is that your monster's attack comes out halved. So your monsters are weaker, but any time we do this, we keep on giving our opponent a token. So out comes Rescue Rabbit, give your opponent a token. And with this deck, you're summoning a lot of times in this deck. So that we're going to keep on giving up on our token. And the effect of this is as follows. So I go all the way to the end, about 7 minutes 30 here, about... Uh, that's, that's too far forward, a little bit about more bit over here. Here's our field, we've got Lady Lapalus on the field, they've got five tokens, we've got six monsters. We're going to burn our opponent here, uh, send one card from our extra deck to the graveyard, we're going to send another copy of Lady Lapalus, and that's going to do 5,500 damage in the first turn. Then we're going to use Brilliant Diamond's effect to send away the, um, the Lady Lapalus to summon up Master Diamond, and the reason why this is so nice for this deck is because it means we don't have to worry about the Nightmare Unicorn stuff. We don't need to loop Master Diamond, because we just need to have it summoned once anyway, and we're going to do 5,500 damage to our opponent. And so, here we go, we're going to send off uh, Amethyst, it doesn't really matter what we send, send off Zirconia, and there you go. 
10, uh, is that 10,000? No, 11,000 damage done to your opponent in the first turn. Now, the problems that I have at the moment and why I put out a post by saying that uh, this deck is really hard to learn was one, learning the deck is very hard to learn. The skill ceiling for this deck is higher than any other deck that I have ever tried to learn in this game period. Higher than Dragon Link, higher than any other combo deck I've tried to learn. This deck is by far the hardest one and I know a lot of people are like boo FTK, boo FTK. But when you have to work this hard to get the FTK going and you're going to see how hard it is, uh, you almost deserve to win in my opinion because this deck is so big brained. Um, so, uh, one is the difficulty of the deck, two, the other challenge with the deck is getting it down to a point where you can do this online in online ranked. Online ranked is only 3 minutes and if you can see the timer of this video, this combo took me 8 minutes and 24. Now, um, there is about 20 minutes I'll say at the beginning when you're doing your handshake and you're doing um, your rock paper scissors, so they take off 20 seconds for that. Uh, animation time it also also a factor, so about let's say a minute 30 for that because we summon a lot in this deck. And um, I also made a mistake with this video where I summoned out Brilliant Diamond early uh, instead of doing Lady, Lady Lapis. So I made a mistake there too. So another 30 seconds. On average, this still takes about five to six minutes to do. So getting, um, that's one thing I haven't worked out is how to get this deck down uh, to less than three minutes so we can play this at online ranked. Um, and if we can't get that, then what can we do with the Gemini archetype? In order to make it usable in the online format, online rank format of the game, because this deck has a lot of potential to be a very, very powerful deck, even without focusing on the OTK. The fact that you can summon so many times is really, really helpful and really useful to do. So here is the deck. I'm going to show you my profile. Uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about ideas that I was considering doing, and then I'm going to try and show you how to play the deck. So you yourself at home can maybe go and try and learn this deck yourself. And if you can work out how to make this deck better than I, uh, better than me, uh, feel free to let me know. I would love to showcase other people and their ideas. So here's the profile. We play three Lapis. Lapis is required because you uh, need one to summon out Lady Lapis Lazuli. And then we play three Sapphire. You can use any other level four or lower Gem Knight normal monster for this deck at three, but I choose Sapphire because Sapphire can be used early on to be Amethyst or Aquamarine. Uh, Amethyst and Aquamarine both have effects when they're sent from the field to the graveyard. Aquamarine uh, bounces one card on the field back to your opponent's hand and then uh, Amethyst ba uh, bounces all set spell and trap cards so they're really good for going second and not having to worry about your opponent's face down cards or any card they have on the field. I would play one copy of both but I don't really have the extra net space so I went for Aquamarine. We have three block dragon required for the deck, amazing extender for the deck. And then we have three Crystal Rose. Crystal Rose isn't a Gem Knight monster by name, but uh, you can send one Gem Knight card from your hand or deck to the graveyard and it will copy its name. This isn't a hard once per turn, so that, uh, every time you summon this card out, you can do this again and again and again. But the, what is a hard once per turn for this card is it has a revival effect where you can banish one Gem Knight fusion monster from your graveyard in order to summon it back to the field and so that gives you a free special summon monster but that is only a once per turn. We are, uh, the best card to send for Crystal Rose is Gem Knight Lazuli and Lazuli has an effect of when it is sent to the graveyard by a card effect like Rose, your fusion or Foolish Burial uh, then you can add one normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. Gem Knight Obsidian is a little bit better than Lazuli but is a little more restrictive as well. This card's effect only triggers when you send it from your hand to the graveyard, but it isn't sent. But it doesn't have to be sent by a card effect. You can discard it, so you can trigger it for things like DDR, Different Dimension Reincarnation, which has a discard for a cost. And its effect is that it special summons a level four or lower normal monster from your graveyard rather than add it to your hand. Both are really good for different certain cards. Then we have your last three monsters are three copies of Rescue Rabbit that summons two normal monsters of the same level from your deck to the field. For spells, we have, three, uh, we have extenders in the form of DDR, D, uh, Different Dimension Reincarnation, which can summon a monster from your banished pile. We have Living Fossil, Monster Reborn, uh, Well Legacy Succession that can summon cards from your graveyard. Um, then we also have a bunch of starters in the form of token generators. Free Fiend Sanctuary summons a level 1 token to the field. Uh, one one-time passcode which summons a level 4 token to the field 
Uh, one Sky Striker Mecha Hornet Drones, which summons a level 4 token to the field. And they are all really there just to help you. They can be used for multiple extra deck monsters, cross sheep, uh, unicorn in a way, but you never would. Uh, Land Fornicus, uh, Link Spider, and even Union Carrier can sometimes be used uh, out of these monsters here. Um, curious, not really. But um, yeah, they just help you get more monsters to the field to start your plays. Foolish Burial is there because we like our cards in our graveyard, but it doesn't matter if they're in the hand or grave. And then you've got free Gem Light Fusion as well to do your fusion. This is a polymerization spell for all intents and purposes, but the added bonus is you can bring this back from the graveyard to your hand by banishing one Gem Light card a monster in your graveyard. This is not a once per turn effect. You can do this as many times as you possibly want to in a turn, and we're going to abuse the hell out of this card. And then the last card we have in the extra, uh, main deck here is Unexpected Die. This summons a normal monster from your deck to the field if you control normal monsters. Uh, you use this at the start of the duel. Um, if you don't use it then, then you're pretty much never going to use it. So always try to, if you draw it early, uh, open up with this card here. And then we have our extra deck. The, uh, deck space is really, really tight, but uh, there is some uh, flexibility here. Aquamarine we've talked about. Uh, we have Lady Brilliant Diamond. This card sends one Gem Knight monster on your field to the graveyard to summon out one Gem Knight fusion without uh, having to use polymerization and ignores the summon conditions. You do this to bring out Master Diamond without having to do three Gem Knight monsters. But then you can also summon it the hard way as well. Uh, Lady Lapis we've already talked about. Master Diamond you have the idea of what that does. Then we also have Seraphonite. Uh, Seraphonite uh, requires a Gem Knight and a Light Monster, and um, so that's why we're playing Land Fornicus. But um, you pretty much use this after you've triggered Block Dragon Effect, to uh, which is added monsters to your hand, because this card can give you an extra normal summon for that turn, and so um, it allows you to summon out one of the monsters you've just searched. Um, there are multiple Light Monsters you could use for this. Crystal Rose could be used to summon this out. Uh, Land Fornicus can be. Um, you could also have instead go for uh, Proxy Dragon. Proxy Dragon is a bit better than Land Fornicus um, in the sense that if a card you control would be destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, you can destroy one of the monsters it points to instead. Um, so um, this card points to instead, so it can kind of protect some of your cards from hand traps. But um, uh, the arrows are a bit worse than Land Fornicus, not that the arrows really matter too much. Um, but they can both, uh, what's nice about both of these cards is they can use tokens as well, not just monsters. So that really works nicely with your token cards. And then you can also go for things like Lambda, which can't use tokens, but of course enables you to be able to use uh, Psyframe monsters while um, uh, it is on the field. Uh, normally you can't summon a Psyframe gear monster if you have a card on the field, a monster on the field. So um, having Lambda out is nice because we choose to go for Gamma. In later versions of this deck, uh, this gives us a way to negate our opponent's monster effects, which is really, really cool. Also, because um, uh, Lazuli uh, can add back a normal monster from your graveyard, any normal monster, Driver isn't actually too bad in this deck because Driver is a normal monster. So you can make Gamma and Driver earlier on, negate seeds like an Ash Blossom, and then you can actually send Driver back to the graveyard and then add it back through Lazuli later on. Not that I think you would, but... Um, there is there's some potential there, some synergy there. Um, other cards that we have in the extra deck are one Link Spider. This is a great extender for the deck. Turns one of your tokens into an effect monster and a special summon that normal monster from your hand. And then we also have a Union Carrier and Curious. These two cards are used to be able to get Block Dragon out of your deck. Uh, Union Carrier is easier to do. Uh, Union Carrier is really nice um, because Union Carrier will equip Block Dragon to one of your rock monsters. But then, and, and then when it goes to the graveyard, it will trigger the search effect of Block Dragon. But what it won't do is, or it will stop you from summoning that Block Dragon again that turn. So it does be a bit more restrictive. Whereas Curious just sends it from the de uh, from the field to the uh, deck to the graveyard, and then you can summon it out again. Um, there are downsides and benefits of uh, Union Carrier and uh, Curious that I haven't necessarily settled on just yet. Curious, it doesn't put a restriction on it being able to summon Block Dragon. But it's harder to get out because you have to get three monsters with the same attribute um, to summon out Curious. Whereas Union carries any two monsters with the same type of attribute. But um, Curious also mills cards from your deck. 
and Union Carrier, you, how do I, uh, the best way to put this is, if you're not going to make a mistake and you know this combo deck well enough, go for Union Carrier, because Union Carrier, you don't need, uh, if you do the Union Carrier play, you don't actually need to summon Block Dragon to the field, you just want the Search Effect, so if you're the master of this deck, I would say, you go for Union Carrier, but if you think you might make a mistake, go for Curious, it's a little bit more reliable and um, kinder to you if you make a mistake. So that searches out Block Dragon, and to search out your Fusion Spell, we need Phantom Quartz, when this card is linked summon, you add one gem like card from your deck to your hand. This card can also do a fusion summon by using cards in your graveyard or your banish power and shuffle them into your deck. So this is a really great play for getting out Master Diamond or Brilliant Diamond. So without having to you actually use monsters on your field because you want to keep monsters on your field to do your burn. So this is really nice. And then we have Nightmare Unicorn as well in the deck to shuffle back. Oh, and Cross Sheep. Uh, I forgot Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep and uh, Nightmare Unicorn shuffles back in your Master Diamond to loop it. And Cross Sheep gives you more monsters to the field. If you summon a fusion monster to the zone it points to, it will let you special summon one level 4 or lower monster from your graveyard. So that is the deck. The other cards that I wanted to fit in uh, are anti hand trap cards. So we have Magical Midbreaker Field. Magical Midbreaker Field um, stops your opponent from destroying or targeting your, your cards during main phase 1. So they can't use Imperm, Effect Veiler, Ghost Ogre on your monsters. Which is really, really nice, especially that Imperm, which is everywhere right now. Uh, drag Down in the Grave is really nice because you can look at your opponent's hand and send one card to, from your hand to the graveyard. They can do it to you too, but you don't care if many of your monsters go to the graveyard and you can set your spells. Um, so that's alright, especially if they have Nibiru or Imperm, you can get rid of it. And then Call by the Grave also can be used to negate the effect of a monster in the graveyard. Negates Lancia, negates Ash, negates uh, Ghost Ogre, Vela and other similar type of monsters as well so these allow your combo to go through a little bit easier and then I also want to find ways to fit in things like Black Garden as well to make your combo easier I think the best way to play this deck is going to be using Black Garden because you don't have to worry about having enough resources to do the loop at the end of the combo for Master Diamond but um, I haven't worked out where how to fit these cards in just yet at the moment I'm playing a bunch of extenders because when you're playing solo uh, you're practicing offline, you don't really need to worry about what cards your opponent's playing because um, Jordan's challenge they don't really use like hand traps and stuff so I'm playing more extenders than I normally would but um, that's where I am so to wrap up this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and show you the combo and explain to you what's going from my head step by step and then hopefully maybe one of you guys can take this up and uh, work it out otherwise I'll work on it when I have more time in the future so I'm going to go to Jordan's challenge a uh, really good person to play against is Alexis Road. She plays a Sheena Road Ritual deck. Um, I'm pretty sure none of the cards in the deck have uh, ways to stop you or um, no no real like traps or anything. So uh, if she ends up going first, then it doesn't matter. But uh, we're going to go first anyway. She definitely won't be able to interact with us. So it's a good punching bag option. Uh, if you want to practice your combos, she's always someone good to play against. And she's great. I love Alexis Road. So, uh, the first thing in your opening hand is you need to ask yourself, do you have Block Dragon and do you have um, access to Gem Knight Fusion? If you don't, as we don't have them right now, we need to work our way towards that. So I'm going to start off with Unexpected Die because this card has to be used while we control our monsters. And we've already got two Sapphire. I need two monsters later on, so I'm going to get at the last Sapphire. Um, because we have Rescue Rabbit, I need two monsters with the same name in the deck. We drew a lot of normal monsters. This is really, really unusual. Um, might not be able to do the combo with this, actually. So we're going to first do Link Spider. Uh, Link Spider send away the Sapphire. And, oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, we're going to have to bring out another Sapphire. See, to do Curious, we need um, Link Spider, which is an Earth Cybers. Sa Sapphire, which is an Earth Aqua. And then any Earth Rock. Or another Rescue Rabbit, so um, we can use one of these, but I want to use Rescue Rabbit's effect. But uh, the Earth Aqua is in the position where the um, where your um, Quartz is going to go to. So let's see. I'm going to uh, normal summon Rescue Rabbit. I'm going to use Rescue Rabbit's effect. We've got an all our normal monsters out the deck. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the combo with this. Um, just having to think later on. No, it should be fine. We should be fine. Um, we'll just have to see. Right, now I'm going to make a um, Gem Knight Quartz. So Gem Knight Quartz is going to come out. Now Gem Knight Quartz is going to be able to search out our Fusion Spell, which is what we kind of want. 
However, we've only got uh, Earth Cybers and we've only got Earth uh, Rock on the field. So we kind of need to kind of address that. We can't go into Curious right now. What we can do is go for Union Carrier. So I'm going to go for that play instead and see if I can make it work. I'm going to use Link Spider and Lapis. It means I won't be able to special summon Block Dragon. Hopefully that isn't required. So we're going to go for Union Carrier. The Union Carrier is going to activate. We're going to target our well, Gemini Phantom Quartz and equip Block Dragon to it. And now we need to find a way to trigger Block Dragon's effect by getting this off the field. So we could probably go for a uh, Fusion Summon here. So we're going to actually Fusion Summon out uh, Seraphonite. Seraphonite will hit, uh, uh, we're going to send off the two cards on the field. Union Carrier's a light and then we want uh, to send our Quartz to the graveyard so that we can trigger Block Dragon's effect. And then we're going to go and grab Seraphonite. If you hard draw, uh, this deck can often hard draw fusion or block dragon. If you do manage to do that, you can skip some of the steps, but um, it's nice if you do. Okay, so um, there's a bunch of rules you've got to keep in mind in your head when you play this deck. Uh, first of all, if you're going to do block dragon effect, you always want to go for one rose, which is the level two, one obsidian, and then your last option is either obsidian or a lapis. If you don't have access to a normal monster either in your graveyard or in your hand, go for Lapis because she's another level 3. But if you do, then just go for Obsidian because you don't need uh, too many normal monsters anyway. In fact, you only need your uh, a rule with the normal monsters is you always want to keep at least two normal monsters in your graveyard to you. So anything else is extra. So in our situation here, we uh, can now normal summon out Rose thanks to Seraphonite. And then we're going to use Rose Effect to send a card from our deck to the graveyard. We're going to send Lazuli, and that will then trigger Lazuli's effect. Lazuli will let us get another resource back to our hand. Um, doesn't matter which, really. Just keep one Lapis and one Sapphire around. Um, try to keep like one of each. Lapis is required for Aquamarine, um, but um, you think there are multiple ways to get that to the field. And now we're going to go and get back our Gem Knight Fusion. Now, uh, to ba uh, banish, we can banish anything, but uh, the safest bet is to go for uh, one of your effect monsters. So let's go for Lazuli and banish that. And then we can now do another fusion summon. Now, um, before we do that, Crystal Rose was normal summon to the field, so it won't count for the burn. So we're going to get rid of these two cards and we're going to actually make our second Phantom Quartz. Actually, no, we're going to make a Cross Sheep instead, because Cross Sheep would be a nice extender. And then uh, summon that to the field. And then we're going to go with a fusion summon. So we're now going to fusion summon out our Lapis Lazuli. And uh, we're going to have to use one of the Lapises. And I'm also going to use an Obsidian. Now Obsidian is a great card to have in your hand for fusion summons. Because every time we do a fusion summon, we'll be able to summon out another card from our graveyard. Now, in this situation, it doesn't always matter because it depends on what's on your field. You don't always have Cross Sheep. But because uh, we have Cross Sheep, we're going to summon the Fusion Monster to a zone Cross Sheep is pointing to to trigger the effect. And so Cross Sheep is going to activate. Obsidian is going to activate as well. So we're going to get two cards from our graveyard to the field. We've got three Lapises, so I'm going to use those. Um, I think uh, Obsidian targets, but Cross Sheep doesn't. Cross Sheep chooses on Resolution. So Cross Sheep can choose anything, and we can choose one of our effect monsters. Now, if we had Lazuli still, I kind of wish I didn't balance it now. If we had Lazuli, that would have been the best card to bring it back. But we don't, so it's fine. We'll bring back uh, Crystal Rose, because Crystal Rose can get us another Lazuli. So, we need two more monsters before we can do our first burn. So we're going to use Crystal Rose. We're going to send Lazuli to the graveyard. Lazuli effect will trigger. And then Lazuli will give us another normal monster. Let's get back on Lapis. It, uh, once you have your first Lady Lazuli out, it doesn't matter what normal monster you add because you don't, um, you don't really, uh, it doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna get another fusion spell, so we need two more monsters in the field. Uh, let's go for uh, what card to banish? We'll uh, don't banish your fusion monsters. Keep that for Crystal Rose, and also um, don't banish your normal monsters ideally because we want them from Obsidian. So I'm gonna banish an Obsidian. And then we're going to go for another Gem Knight Fusion. Now, it's a bit earlier than we normally would, but I'm actually in this situation going to go for our Brilliant Diamond already. 
because we kind of uh, we kind of able to. So we're going to use Brilliant Diamond. And um, what you need to keep in mind also at this point is if you're going to use Obsidian, that's going to summon a card to the field as well. So you need at least one zone available for that card too to be summoned to the field. So we have two open, that's fine. So I'm going to use Obsidian, I'm going to use Sapphire, and I'm going to use Lapis, why not? So I'm going to use these three cards, send them to the graveyard. And if I haven't messed this up, it should give us a whole board of monsters. So out comes Brilliant Diamond. And then Obsidian should trigger. Yep. And Obsidian will give us another normal monster. Let's bring back a Sapphire this time. So we now have six monsters on the field that have been special summoned. So we can now do Lady Lapis' effect. Lady Lapis is always going to send another copy of Lady Lapis. Because you want two in the graveyard later on to do two Master Diamond effects. So we send one for later on, burn for 3,000. Now we need to kind of get our Master Diamond out. And this is as simple as doing Lady by uh, Brilliant Effect. We're going to get rid of the Lady Lapis that we already have on the field because she's no longer useful. And we're going to use Master Diamond. Master Diamond hits the field. Uh, we're going to use the effect. Banish the Lady Lapis. Any one, doesn't matter. And then we've copied the effect. And then we can send... Um, it's up to you. Uh, because we have to discard for a Unicorn, I'm going to send, actually, uh, Lazuli. But if you also need cards for uh, Crystal Rose, and you don't have spare uh, Fusion Monsters to banish, I think we have Seraphonite in the graveyard, so we can use that. Um, then um, think about that too. So if you're planning to use Crystal Rose again, which we will, um, you need at least one other fusion monster that isn't Lady Lapis to summon it to the field. Or if you don't have to worry about that, go for Lazuli. It will give you a card to the scar later on. So there's another 3000 damage. Trigger Lazuli effect. Uh, add back a Lapis, sure. And now the last way we could do a fusion summon by doing Gem Knight Fusion again. And uh, that would do this just fine. Oh no, we've got to do Unicorn Force anyway. Let's just do Unicorn. So for Unicorn, uh, we're going to use a Link 2 because we want to use as few monsters as possible. And I want to get rid of one card in the graveyard. Let me just make sure I've got the right card here. I'm going to go with uh, Crystal Rose because it can summon itself back. Obviously, you don't want to use your Master Diamond. The other card that you might have on the field sometimes that you definitely don't want to use is uh, Phantom Quartz. We'll discard, send back Master Diamond. And now we could, again, like I was about to say, go for um, activate the effect of Gem Knight Fusion again. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to first summon back Crystal Rose. Uh, don't banish Lazuli, obviously. Banish the Rephanite. Put this back on the field. Change this to a Gem Knight monster. Uh, let's send, it doesn't matter, let's send Obsidian from our decks, the last Gem Knight monster we have. And then we're going to use the last two gem, uh, two more Gem Knights to make Phantom Quartz. So I'm going to get rid of these two, I guess. We can't bring back Crystal Rose again, so we're not worried about that. And then we're going to summon out Phantom Quartz. And then Phantom Quartz can do a fusion summon using cards in your graveyard or Banish Power. So at this point, we're pretty much finished. So uh, we activate the effect, pay a thousand life points, choose Master Diamond. Um, and then choose what you want to summon back. Um, in terms of what you send back, the best targets to go back in your deck are Lazulis. Um, Lazulis are really good, um, but it's not really relevant at this point, to be honest with you. But if you have to do this effect late, early in the combo, because sometimes you might have to, go for Lazuli. Because um, when she goes back to the graveyard, she'll get you more resources. But sometimes I, uh, it, there, there could be different op options as well. So um, it's not a hard rule. So, but I'm going to use Lazuli. Cards on our banished power is always better than the graveyard anyway, so I'm going to get rid of, uh, I guess I'll get rid of a, a Lady Lapis. And then we'll get rid of a Obsidian, I guess. Send those back. One, two, and three. And then we've got our Fusion Summon here. Here comes Master Diamond. Master Diamond hits the field. And then we're going to activate the effect one more time. Uh, we're sending a lady, uh, banish the lady lapis. Then use the effect. We can send another lady lapis if there's a reason to do so. And then you burn your opponent, and that is game. The combo is really, really hard to learn. There are so many little things you've got to remember along the way, 
it's so easy to make a mistake along the way and then realize you messed up later on and you don't have enough monsters on the field to burn your opponent with whilst also having enough resources to do your fusion summoning with so it does take a lot of practice but i'm hoping that by putting out this video if anybody else wants to try this deck that um hopefully this will help you a little bit with understanding the steps if it helps i'm going to break it down into seven steps for you i should have said this earlier uh step one get to block dragon and get to your fusion spell step two trigger block dragon's effect step three make seraphonite to normal summon a monster um additionally to your from your hand uh, to the field uh step four make lady lapis plus five other monsters on your field step five make master diamond and uh, step six loop master diamond and seven make it again to uh, burn your opponent so that is an ftk deck not finished definitely not finished but i literally spent so much time on this deck i didn't have time to do any uh, other other deck profiles so i'm just putting up the video right now and then seeing how it goes and yeah let me know what you guys think of there being an ftk in the game do you absolutely hate ftks or can you see how high skill uh, how high the skill ceiling is for this deck where i can see actually a lot of potential for what this deck can do in legacy of the duelist i believe that this deck won't be able to be played in terms of the ftk set because we simply don't have the timer for it on online rank mode but maybe there's something else we could do with this deck maybe it could just be a combo deck and we put up some negates Maybe it could be a combo deck where you go second and make some like Boros Sword Dragon attack the game. I think this deck has a lot of untapped potential in this game. And I would love to see more people playing it and experimenting with it to see what they can do. Especially Block Dragon. Block Dragon is amazing. And like I said at the start of the video, there are other decks we can use Block Dragon with. So I'm going to play with it a bit more. Uh, Megaliths are a good idea. Go Go Go's could be good for a rank 4 deck. I would love to see Block Dragon be used a bit more. So that is the video guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care.